Okay, students, as you come in to do the finish on your pins, you're going to need a couple of things. Now, first of all, I put a piece of white paper towel down here, hopefully so you could see how the finish goes on a little bit easier than reflecting off the lathe parts itself. You're going to need the pin finish bottle. And I've got a couple of them that are around the shop. They say pin finish, but it's getting kind of faded. And you're going to need a rag with some clean sections on it. This is a soft rag that we're going to be using. So this is not paper towel. This is a, a, a soft cotton rag. Now, this pin finish is, is, we get it out of a bottle that's a little bigger. It's called Mylan's Friction Polish. And a friction polish is exactly that. It's going to use friction to build up the sheen. So it's going to penetrate into the wood and then you're going to build up layers. Now this happens very small, so we're going to do is at least six layers on our pin. And as we heat it up, that's going to kind of uh, create a, a finish, a hard finish around each layer that's going to get progressively shinier. Now, here as you look at this, we have... Uh, as we look here, we've got our bottle and it's not very mixed up. We got our heavy waxes and things down here and up here we just have the vehicle to kind of get it there. That's important because as you pick up the bottle here, the first thing you want to do is close it and shake it up really good. Just like I'm going to do with this big bottle. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to shake it up. I want to get those little bits of wax evenly distributed in the rest of the bottle all the way through it. You can see how now it's mixed in. Otherwise, um, it's like putting on just thinner or just a little bit of uh, watery type stuff that'll change the color, but it won't build up any protection. It's that heavy wax that's going to be our protection. So I've got my bottle shaken up. I've got my rag here. We're going to come in and do the first coat. First coat's a little bit different than the rest. So on the first coat, I'm going to take a small corner of my rag and I'm going to put a little bit of finish. Without this spinning, I'm going to put two, three or drops of finish there in the corner of my rag. I don't want to get my whole rag wet, just that little section. And now I'm going to put it across it, all the way across my walnut and let it soak in. So my first coat, I kind of put on a little bit heavy because a lot of it's going to soak right in. And I'm just, I say heavy, but I use three drops. I take those three drops and I put it all the way across. Now I'm going to start with my lathe in a low RPM, okay, kind of going slow. And I'm going to come across here and I'm just going to wipe across. Now this takes any of the extra liquid that I have and pulls it off onto my rag and not, uh, flies it all over the wall and windows. Now I'm going to crank it up. On the small lays, I'm going to crank it up all the way. On the bigger lays, I'm going to go to about 33,000, 3,200 RPM. Now I'm going to take my rag on a clean section and I'm going to wrap it a couple of times. So I got a couple of thicknesses here. And then in this, with this friction polish, I do want to do exactly that. I'm going to come in and pinch the pin until I start to feel some heat. And then I'm going to move it around. Now students always ask me, well, how much heat am I supposed to feel? Well, it's supposed to feel, if I'm going through about th three or four thicknesses of rag, it's supposed to feel warm. If it starts to feel hot, like it's going to burn my fingertips, then as I, if I stop and pause anywhere, I'm going to actually burn the wood. But I want to get that heat build up on my rag so it'll actually dry it as I go across. So this first coat takes a little bit longer to do because I put on so much. I'm going to take some not sticky fingers. I'm going to go across it, make sure it's not sticky anywhere. And boom, first coat's done. Now, to do the other coats, I'm going to have it turned down there. I'm going to put on a drop or two finish. And going a very low speed, I'm going to put a little bit across with the wet part of my rag, switch over to the dry part of my rag. Speed it up just a little bit, wipe off some of the extra, pad back up my rag, get it a good four layers, crank it all the way up. And I get the heat going across it again. If you find that these coats, two, three, four, five, and six, aren't building shine, uh, to making it shiner, we got one of two problems. Biggest problem is, oftentimes, we don't have any of that wax in it because we didn't shake up the bottle. Next biggest problem, my rag's dirty. So a dirty rag isn't going to let it build up and, and let it get shiny. Or I'm trying to use the wet section of the rag. Bingo. That one dries a lot quicker than the first coat. Come back to the wet part of my rag again. Put in a, another drop. That was two drops. Turn it down low. Put it across. Turn it back up all the way and heat that one on. 
So I'm just gonna repeat this until I get all the way to six coats. I could go seven if I need to, and this is usually when you get these coats done, this is when Mr. Tobler wants to take a quick look at your pit. He wants to see both that it's dried, so every coat is gonna get shinier if it dries between each coat, and that's just the friction dry, all the way across. People that are, students that are good at this, take about three minutes to put all six coats on their pins all the way across. So now I've got it nice and shiny. It'll just keep building shinier and shinier as we go through. So at this point, Mr. Tobler says you're good. Then you can go and take the pieces off, go over to his window, figure out which hardware kit you would like to build it together with and where you want the ink to come out, where you planned your pieces to come in, and he'll help you smash it together. And you're done.